What's up, Pisces? Do yourselves a favor. Trust your intuition for guiding you to this 2023 reading all about side hustles, extra income, extra streams of revenue you can create for yourself. Let's dive in. So we're going to get started with the Wheel of Fortune, which we are going to use to direct you to the best possible way that you can make extra income in 2023. All right, so let's put some clarity into this from spirit, from the universe. What does Pisces need to see to make extra income in 2023? What's the clearest energy you have for Pisces? Ooh, I love it, the star. Okay, Aquarius got this too. So the star energy, and you know, this could also be the energy that in Aquarius season, which is coming up pretty soon here, um, in the next couple weeks actually, that this is uh, the energy that, you know, things might pop off for you. So the star is all about healing, trusting, having faith, having hope. Um, I also look at the star as the main character. So I feel like you're doing something big here, Pisces, something real, real big. And then it's coming up on your season. So it's almost like right before your season energy comes up with the moon here, something pops off in Aquarius season for you. And I feel like a lot of people are attracted with the star coming out. So I'm using these self-care cards because I feel like this is, you know, self-care is the best way to mesh with money. So I want to see for you guys what self-care activity you guys can really get a handle on to make extra income and how it might tie in. Okay, so we have calm coming out. A breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. And I was just saying that, you know, right before your season, things are going to pop off. A breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. So this is the calm before the storm. There's usually a calm before the storm and calm. <coughs> Excuse me, Pisces. Oh, my goodness. And a calm after the storm. Wow, I feel like that was not a coincidence. <laughs> it was like trying to remain calm before that sneeze. So yeah, there's definitely something the universe is telling you about with that. That like, it's almost like, okay, be calm now because some shit's about to pop off. That was a very interesting shuffle. Give me another shuffle for Pisces. What does Pisces need to see about extra income? ways to make extra income for Pisces. Tell me more about this star energy. What's popping off? Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. I'm hearing. What's this energy for Pisces? So we have the three of cups, cancer energy, the eight of cups, your Pisces energy, eight of cups in reverse, and the two of cups, all cups energy, two of cups in reverse, cancer energy. So the three of cups is all about celebrating. The Eight of Cups is about uh, moving on, but in reverse, it's like feeling stuck. And then we have the Two of Cups in reverse, which is all about a lack of alignment. Because upright, it's like, you know, completely balanced, harmonious. Everything is aligned. It's very romantic. So in reverse, it's almost like a stuck energy. Um, you know, I got to be real for some of you. This could even be like you might be helping people through a rough patch. Like maybe you're giving courses on how to get through a breakup. Like if you're stuck on someone, you might be a really, really good person to look up to Pisces in that regard. Like, OK, how do I get myself out of this hole? The Three of Cups is all about feeling happy and joyful and celebratory especially with friends. So I feel like for some of you, it's almost just like, let me help you get into a happy place. You could be a life coach, getting that with the star too, and calm too. Um, yeah, you might be giving online courses. You might be an online coach. That could be an extra way. Also getting for some of you, you might be a caterer. Maybe you make food for people. You make drinks for people. I feel like for some of you, this could even be bartending, but I definitely think another way to make money is by offering um <clears throat> your food delights i'm noticing too like pastries here so maybe some of you are really good at baking chefery yeah whatever that energy is i definitely feel like there's something in here pisces where people want to eat your food or there could also be like an uh, you might be like an event planner that could be the energy coming out there <clears throat> i also feel like with calm you help people remain calm so if someone's like, oh my God, I got a wedding to plan, 
which by the way this does look like a wedding maybe you're gonna be a wedding planner or you know that's just another stream of income or you help with like a side hustle like maybe you're a graphic designer and you're like okay i'll help you with your invitations there's something where it's like you're helping people <clears throat> i feel remain calm Oh my gosh, then we have the moon, which is awesome because it, it kind of came up near the star too. So the moon is your Pisces energy here. So there's something with the moon, cycles of the moon. This could even be like womanly stuff. Like maybe you're helping like out with women's issues in one way or another because the moon is directly correlated with women. So that could be an energy too. I'm also noticing a full moon on this eight of cups. More for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about side income? Renewal. So I feel like this could either be a contract at an old job you had. This could also be the energy of um, you, you've you done this in the past. Like you did a, a side hustle or you've done, you know, event catering in the past or event planning in the past or you've made invitations for people. There's something that the universe is like, okay, do it again, Pisces. Like you're really good at it. Do it again. I feel like you're the person helping people remain calm. More for Pisces, extra money, side income. The one you need I already fell out, I heard. So we have the white cat pouncing in. I'm getting like a very, ooh, maybe you're a caretaker of animals too. Or like helping out at an animal shelter in some way. I feel like there's something lucky with a cat pouncing in. Like a very pure energy. It's almost like something's gonna make itself available to you. Someone might even ask for your help. Getting a lot of cat energy. So yeah, you could be a caretaker. Maybe you're helping people like a dog walker or helping take care of people's animals when they're going on vacation, maybe. Give me more for Pisces. Side income is 2023. We have the sun and cancer. Yeah, a lot of cancer energy coming out with the moon, two of cups, three of cups. So something is going to pop off by cancer season. Yeah, ninth house is all about travel, exploration, discovery. Yeah, I feel like it's almost like if you kind of just like, I, I feel like there's this energy where you're being called to help Pisces. And if you keep this going by cancer season, it's almost like this energy where someone asks you to do invitations enough or someone asks you to cater enough that it's like you create your own business with it. That's what I'm getting Pisces. So keep doing this, um, whatever it is that you're doing, because I feel like the more you do it over and over, it's just like, why don't I just make a business out of this? That's what I'm getting. So I hope this resonated. If you'd like a reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, I will check it later in another 2023 reading or a moon phase reading.